will see the shaft over there. That's where the tortoises normally are. Um, they are sisters, Florine and Isabella. It's too cold for them at night yet, so they're not out. Um, if they live to be a hundred or what, close to that, they say that they will grow to be as large as this bronze statue over here to the right. And behind the bamboo fence here to the left are the red pandas. Other parts of the world are known as the Firefox. Their names are Justin and Maya. You see the little monkeys in the window there? Let me out, let me out! <laughs> You might see some monkeys, I don't see any right now. You saw one? Yeah. All right. And then over here is the dragonfly pond. This is where the turtles, frogs, fish, and ducks live. This first island is where the spider monkeys normally are, but it's too cold for them. Second island is where the ringtail lemurs normally are, and it's too cold for them out at night right now too. This area here is where the emu and the emus in the shed there eaten, and the kangaroos are. Kangaroos are probably around the corner right here. There they are. There's five of them. And then that brown building over to the right there is where the American alligator is. He's 14 feet long, 400 pounds, and he has 40 teeth in his mouth. His name is Smiley. And then we have the veterinarian building here to, to the left. The wood area is where they will quarantine the new arrivals for 30 days or until they feel they are ready to be put in with the rest of the animals. the zoo hospital. This is where the animals will come if they have an injury or an illness. Also, they will come in for their annual physical. And then this brick building here to the right is where the red foxes are. Side of that building is where the short-tailed bobcats are. Their names are Mary Jo and Gunther. them over there. The largest one's name is Geronimo. He weighs in at a whopping 2,000 pounds. Wow. And then we have the North American River Otters. There's three of them. Their names are Sammy, Francis, and Shadow. They can swim up the water for up to eight minutes and they can travel at 20 mi or 30 miles per hour. Then we have this built, big, empty, unoccupied building. What do you think is going to go there? Yeah. You got it. You get to ride on the train the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> 
And if you look on the top of this roof, you'll see plants. They are up there. They serve a purpose. They filter the rainwater, which goes down into the barrels. And then we conserve the water and use it to water the plants or whatever we may want to do with it. the red tail hawk and her name is Betty. Thank you for riding on the train. Please remain seated till we come to a complete stop and you hear the whistle blow. Please exit to the rear.